Hi everyone, welcome to Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. I'm Tammy and I have a couple of fun things to um, share with you today. I'm not sure if you've seen them before, but I thought, you know what? I was just feeling crafty in my room today and I thought that I would um, just share a couple of fun things. Uh, one is a really quick thing, but um, it's one of those little things that just drives me crazy and I'm sure that drives other people crazy as well. And it's making little bows. And I hate making little bows. And I know if you're out there in YouTube world, you probably are the exact same way. So I'm just going to show you a quick way to make a bow, a little bow. And and then I'm going to show you a quick mate way to make an even fancier little bow. So what you need, sorry for the noiser, is a fork. That's it. And we're not having a snack. You just need a fork. And um, maybe I'll put a piece of paper under that so you're able to see it a little bit better rather than being on that black. Okay, hopefully the glare isn't, let me try to, no, try to put that there, that might be a little bit better. Okay, so we have um, our fork, and so what we're gonna start off with is this blue ribbon. And I'm gonna go really slow for anybody that hasn't seen this. So this ribbon, um, now I just cut this, I didn't measure it, but this one measures uh, approximately nine inches, okay? But I'm gonna probably cut a little bit off it, so if you, if you don't measure it that much, it doesn't matter. So what you're going to do is take your ribbon and have the fold over on the right hand side, or sorry, left hand side, and your two little tail pieces over on the right hand side, and just go around the fork, just like that. And then the one that's on the bottom, you're going to have your, just lay your, lay your ribbons down, just like there, okay? Hopefully you can see this. Let me try to move you down a little bit closer. Okay, lay your ribbons down. Now take your one that's going to the back, hold your one down that's going to the front, take your one that's going to the back, and you're gonna take your back one over your front one and stick it down in the middle prong of your fork. So you have three prongs in your fork, okay? And you're gonna stick it down in that middle one. Okay, just like that. Does everybody see that? And you're just gonna leave that like that. Just like that, that's what it's gonna look like. So you have it wrapped around and then the it's coming around and going through the fork and coming out the other side. Now take this one and you're going to take the tail and put it up through the top turn it over and you're gonna tie a little knot. Just turn it over and do that. And make a little knot. And when you turn that over, you have your little bow. You might have to just Tighten it a little bit there. OK. 
okay and there is your little bow and you can um, let me see if you can get that the thing you can shorten these out if you want I made a couple more here's another little blue one a little uh, purple one and uh, if you like I'll cut another piece so I can show you again uh, let me get another piece of ribbon let me do the, the purple here. Okay. so around the fork over to the side okay take the back one and go through the fork in the middle prong down in the middle prong pull it out on the left hand side and then take the right hand one and put it up the top part flip your fork over and you're just going to put one under the other and pull it tight you don't have to double knot it or anything you just put one under the other pull it tight like that so I'm under out of a uh, screener pull, pull it tight and then you'll see on the front how that is like that and then you're just going to pull it off and you'll see you have the perfect little bow look how precious that little bow is look at that and then you just want to probably cut your tails a little bit shorter but when you want a little bow and your little fingers don't like making them that small look how precious that is and how easy it is to do with a fork okay so I'll just probably cut that there and you can make a whole bunch of these in no time and just put them in a little container but that is how you make little bows with forks okay so now I'm going to show you how to make a fancier bow with a fork so take a longer ribbon now this one is about 14 inches okay now um, take your ribbon keep about two inches on the left side of the fork I want to make sure that I'm in frame here and you're going to come up from the bottom and go through the first prong and then go down and then come up and then go down go around that last prong come up around it go down go up and then go around that prong again you're going to turn around so basically you're weaving your ribbon in and out of your fork here you're going to turn it around go and come back the right way and go down that second prong up the third one down around the last one turn it around go down around the third one up around the second around the first one go up down around the second up around the third and then you're finished on the last one so basically it looks like that it's weaving in and out and I'll show you from the back okay so now uh, you just lay that there make sure that you have and very carefully have a little bit of space at the bottom there and a little bit of space at the top it's best to use a fork that has long prongs in it I had a fork earlier and it the prongs are were a little bit shorter and I went and switched it out 
Um, okay, so what I did is I took a lighter uh, ribbon and then the, I used a darker ribbon. And so what I'm going to do now is take this ribbon and in the middle prong here, in this one here, at the bottom, I'm going to stick this dark ribbon down there. And I'm going to take this ribbon and put that at the top and flip my fork over. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did before. Just tie that one in and out knot. Pull it nice and tight. And then you're going to pull that off and then you're left with this adorable double bow isn't that gorgeous and um, like I said you can uh, cut off your little tails here but how precious is that and um, I'm just going to cut these a bit shorter And you can, I should have my, my sharper scissors here. And there is a sweet little double bow that you can use on a little gift or a card or whatever. And look how precious that is. Isn't that darling? Can you see that? I made a couple of those. I mean, imagine them on little embellishments or whatever. They're really, really cute. So that is how you make a double, a little double bow. If you have any questions, uh, you want me to show you those again, I can definitely um, do that. Just uh, make a comment in um, on the video, and I will definitely uh, show those again. But I want to uh, move along and show you what else I have been making today. And guess what we're going to work with? We're going to work with toilet paper. I know. It's been a hot commodity. Everybody's been um, holding on to it. And um, now that um, the pandemic is kind of hopefully coming to an end, we, we might not have to hold on to our toilet paper so much. Um, what I've been doing is I have been embossing with toilet paper today. And it has been coming out absolutely gorgeous so I have been using my embossing folders and here are some of the ones that I have been doing this one here is uh, one here that I've done I'm going to turn up the light here so maybe you could see this is one here and I'm going to show you how to do it and you can see on each side how beautiful this is. And this is toilet tissue. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And um, the texture of it is beautiful. Um, I, I'm just, I can't wait to use it like on a card or... And here is one that I made um, it's a tree. They're, they're still damp, so I'm trying to be very delicate with it. Here's like a, a tree that I made. And um, I plan on using some, some sprays and stuff with these, especially this one. I, I am so in love with this one. Look at this one with all of the roses and everything on this. And... 
it just embossed so beautifully uh, that I'm going to go over it with some watercolor and just look how beautiful that turned out. So I'm also going to show you how to do it with the embossing, but I'm going, and this one, I'm going to show you how to use it with a stamp as well. Look at this beautiful one that I had, and it looks like a script. Wouldn't that look beautiful, like in a journal? And, um, I mean, you can use some uh, tea, tea to stain it. You can spray some um, ink. You can... I'm going to try different effects on this, and I will definitely uh, show you them after they dry. But this is just the first step uh, I'm showing you of what I'm doing, just getting them to this step. So let's start with the embossing folder. So this is the next embossing folder I'm going to show you. Now this one is very beautiful. It has uh, some beautiful flowers on it. So what you need is an embossing folder, whatever you choose, some squares, actually not the squares, just a roll of toilet paper, okay? And it doesn't matter if it's got the imprint on it, it doesn't matter, don't worry about it, because that's not going to show up when you uh, do your embossing. So for the embossing folders, you want to, um, tear off two pieces of toilet tissue uh, because the embossing folders are a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put my first one down there. And then I just have a little spray bottle with some water in here. And so I'm just gonna put that down on my embossing folder. Try to get it right at the crease. And then I'm just going to give it four or five sprays. And that was six, but that's okay. And just lightly just give it a little tap. And then I'm going to get... Let's do some sheets here. I, I just love how, this technique and how this turned out. And um, Okay, so you're going to take and put that down on top of it and give it a, a few more sprays. And then take your next one, put it down on top and just repeat. And do the next one. And I have so many ideas going through my head uh, doing this that uh, of trying different things. So um, who knows by the time that we you come back to uh, check to see what I've done with these. I've probably, I probably will have done some other things um, to amp it up a little bit. Because I just wanted to come in here and play around and that's the um, best time to come in and just create and you can, that's the it's the best is when you can just come in and play around so after you get I've got about five or six layers on there just lightly lightly give it a tap because you don't want to get too many wrinkles in there and you want to have that right at the crease and I'm going to fold this over now just fold that over and then what I did is I just took 
pair of scissors and very lightly because you don't want to tear this I just uh, cut off this excess uh, because I don't want to have this caught in my Gemini machine okay so then I used it to uh, wipe up the little spray so I'm going to uh, put this through my machine here And you can see how beautiful that came out. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that beautiful? Now, of course, it's still damp, but look on both sides. It just comes out beautifully. And you can't see the little um, imprints that were on the toilet tissue um, when you when I first put it in there it totally takes on the embossing folder it's just stunning so that is another one that I've done and I also have this one here which I want to try and show you I forget the name of this one but I absolutely love it Put this one in here so again put it in just give it a little spray I just think that these are just beautiful and you could make so many up in advance and just keep them in your stash and when you want to make a beautiful journal or a card you have them already ready but they're very relaxing making these it's just and who who knew you could make these out of toilet tissue. I mean, just something else um, to, you know, that you may not have on hand. Well, usually you always have toilet tissue. And Okay. So here is the next one. I'll just cut that off again. And then after I show you this one, I will show you the stamp um, way, which are very, 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 very cool as well. So here is, now I think that one could have went a little bit, maybe I could put another little more pressure on that one. Just give me one second. Let's put that one 
through again. go look at how beautiful that is and there is the other side gorgeous and as I said like once it dries it'll even be more beautiful okay so here is the stamp that I'm going to show you this is a beautiful stamp with the leaves and that on there and this is one that I've already done, and it's drying right now. So it's just a, a rose, and I have it drying, so I don't want to um, try to move it or anything. Um, but this is, you'll see the results um, tomorrow when I reveal the stamp. But this is how you do it, and when you uh, go to take these off, they are absolutely stunning. So. I have a bunch of ones that are just squares. So I'm just going to put this on. It just fits perfect over the stamp. And I'm going to wet this down. And then you're going to need just a clean brush. Nice soft brush. And you're going to go on your stamp and just tap this down so that you can see all the details on your stamp. But one thing you want to be careful of is when you're going around the edge, um, you have to be very careful because uh, from the edge to the block, there's quite a dip there and you do not want to um, tear your tissue. So just go in there and give it a nice tap. Be gentle because you don't want to tear this. It's very de delicate. But you want to bring out all the detail. Take your time. The more time you take, the more detail that'll be in here. And as you, you can see, if you're, um, hopefully you can see good in the uh, camera there that how the detail is showing up as I'm pressing down on the flower and the leaves. And I think what I'm going to do to try this out is I'm going to try to use some markers here. So I'm just going to put some color in and do some shading and see what happens. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Um, and let me get uh, one for the leaves. I said I have no idea if this is going to work. We'll see tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to put another layer over here and spray this again. And I can see some of the color coming through there.
So that might really have a nice effect when it's all done. And what I'll do is I'll skip this la uh, layer to put more color and I will um, go to the next layer and do another layer. And I can still see the beautiful colors coming through here. So what I am going to do now in to accent that beautiful color there, let me just see what color this is. It is dark purple posy. So this is the lighter version of that. I'm going to add some light versions in the areas where I didn't put the other colors and hopefully it'll blend and then I will grab the other version of the green which this one is a little bit darker And this is just going to put just a small amount of this. Okay. And we'll mix some of the Hopefully this will look nice when it's done. We'll see. If not, we experimented and um, that's the whole part of having fun and playing. Okay, dark purple posy. Let's just add a little bit more dark to this because this is going to be the last one where I'm going to add the I think this is going to look really nice with the mixture of the colors in here. Okay, so let's add another layer. that's in screen. Oh, I apologize if that was out a little bit. I love the effect of that. Now, as you can see, it has the two tone in there and the effect of the leaf looks really nice because, you know, everything is not one color. And the, the uh, flower looks really soft. So I'm going to do one more of the here. Now this one, as I'm coming around the sides, I am trying to not um, tear it but just kind of get like a little edge around it. Now I can go back and wink a Stella this up. I can glitter this up. Um, 
because I can go back and cut this out. Um, this can be a beautiful embellishment for a card. This is going to be gorgeous when it dries. And I just love how that looks. If you can see how that looks on there, I think it's going to be gorgeous when it's when the color all comes in. It might even be more beautiful on the other side, like where the stamp is. We'll just have to wait until it dries. Anyways, so that is that. I will wait until it dries. So that is what I wanted to show you today. So we have made, oops, the top came off my marker here. Those are made with uh, Stampin' Up blends. I love those. You can blend them together and um, they just blend gorgeous. Um, I'm not a Stampin' Up demonstrator, but I do have a lot of Stampin' Up items. So today we have uh, used toilet paper to um, uh, stamp on and We've used it to emboss with and make these gorgeous um, embossing uh, papers that I can use for cards. And um, also embossed with stamps. And also I showed you how to make these adorable um, little bows and adorable double bows that you can use um, by just using a fork. So I thank you so much for um, sticking around. If you did stick around, if you're not a subscriber of my channel, please subscribe and uh, share and like. And um, thank you so much for staying with me today. I so appreciate spending the time with you. Um, I look forward to coming back. I'll definitely come back tomorrow and show you how this turned out. And I may uh, play around with a couple other ones here and see what I can do with them. And I have lots of other ideas that I'm going to be doing soon. And please come back and spend some time with me. Take care. God bless. I'm sending prayers out to uh, Sheila and my friend Bonnie and whoever else. Oh, and my sweet friend Samantha from Sweet Tea and Grace. I hope everyone is doing well and um, God bless to each and every one of you. Be kind to one another. Uh, please, uh, the contest for the uh, pet ATC is still on. You still have time. I'm going to keep it open um, for a few more days uh, so you can still get your entry in. It's a pet ATC. Um, it's the size of a playing card. That's all you have to send in. Put your pet on the front and you can um, put your pet information on the back. The only thing I require is that you're 18, that you're a subscriber of my channel, and I would love to have your pet's birthday and the address so I can send out a birthday card or just a special card throughout the year. And also, I will set, send you a pet ATC of my sweet CT, CEO uh, crew uh, in the mail to you so you can start your own collection of ATC cards and um, I, of course I have a wonderful giveaway that I will be giving away at the end so um, please um, send those in I've had so much fun seeing all the different ones they're just precious 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 and um, it doesn't matter if your pet's passed away. Uh, of course, um, crew is passed away. And uh, I've attached little angel wings to his ATC card. So 
that's how you can put on yours to um, recognize that your pet has been that is passed away and uh, it's okay we uh, doesn't mean that we don't think about them we don't love them um, so God bless to each and every one of you. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.